a really nice Spanish dish, particularly if you like mushrooms, because it's a, it's a mushroom dish and it's very, very simple. I've added chorizo and anchovies. You could do it a vegetarian version with instead of the chicken stock, you could just use veggie stock and you could leave the chorizo out. And if you don't eat anchovies, you could leave that out. But I do like it with all those things. And first of all, olive oil in a wok or pan, just one of these flat bottom woks are quite nice. And to that we then add some red onion or shallots, whichever you've got, and a good big clove of garlic. And we're just going to saute that. Now, I don't mind it getting a little bit of colour, but I certainly don't want it brown. When I say brown, you know what I mean, I don't want it overly caramelised. So just break up that red onion. I've sliced it finely. You can cut it in wedges if you like. It's up to you guys, because it's your recipe, isn't it, once you start doing it. And when that's tender, it's just starting to get a little bit of colour around the edges, so we can throw in these mushrooms, some nice firm button mushrooms, which you either halve or quarter, depending on the size. So we just toss those around, and what I'm going to add now, first of all, some anchovies, many or as few as you like. Right, so we throw those in. See, it's starting to get a bit of colour now, which is good, not too much, and we need some liquid in now. So first of all, good splash of white wine, good splash of sherry vinegar, it just adds a little bit of piquancy. And there's some smoked paprika. Please smoked, not the normal one. This needs smoked in it. Decent amount of that. When I was in Spain, I must admit, I was boggled and hungry too, which is interesting. I was boggled how much paprika they put in. They put tablespoons in, which is fine. They like it. Some parsley and some pepper. Don't put any salt in, because you've got those anchovies. When I was in Spain with Healthy, Wealthy and Wise, this years ago, admittedly, we were filming in an anchovy factory, their top one, supposedly. Beautiful anchovies. We had to put clothing on, you know, as if we were in an operating theatre. We had to cover every appendage, feet, head, masks, you know, the whole lot of things, so that we could film in the anchovy factory. So we did all that, all of us, you know, the, the cameraman, the soundman, myself. And then in the middle of filming, so we're in there filming, the owner walks in, in his street clothes, puffing on this dirty big cigar and just wanders. He wandered through sight. And I thought, yes. I don't, no, I didn't think yes. We'll think, we'll, we won't talk about what I thought. <laughs> it was very funny. Right, some chicken stock, or as I said, if you are doing a vegetarian version, some vegetable stock packets, fine. And then we just cook that down until those mushrooms are very tender and we've got a bit of a glaze happening. And what I've done, I have cooked some chorizo off. I've just sliced it and pan fried it and we'll throw that in at the last moment. You can't, well you can cook it with the mushrooms but it, it will come out better flavoured if you actually have cooked it in a pan. All right, so we'll just reduce all this and as I said, we want a bit of a glaze happening. Then we will throw the chorizo in. And that's about all there is to it. I told you it's simple. All right, we're looking rather good now. So in goes the chorizo. If you feel you have to add a bit more stock, because I've reduced it a bit too much, a little bit, and I'll throw the rest of that parsley in now. So the chorizo's gone and that's just, all that needs is to be heated a little, so turn it off. Now, to go with it, we need something big and bold for this because you've got some very bold flavors here. You've got the chorizo, you've got the anchovies, you've got the smoked paprika, the sherry vinegar. So what I've got here, is a really delightful Spanish wine. And I think that'll go beautifully. A very simple dish, you can whip it up in about 10 seconds, bloody flat. And it's very, very tasty, particularly if you like mushrooms. <laughs>